a little while ago, not the taxes folder thing, a long while ago, Vosh was doing really well. He was moving up. He was, uh, he was friends with, uh, what's her face? Contrapoints. I almost said counterpoints. Very different people. Friends with contrapoints. Um, he was, he was talking to all the big YouTubers, double team debates with Destiny, et cetera, et cetera. Things like that. The, you know, tenuous relationship there. But the point is, he was in demand. People wanted to talk to him. People were excited about his involvement in things. He was growing radically. After the Sargon debate, he had grown exponentially. I remember watching him and criticizing him, actually, because it was a terrible performance. But he, uh, I remember watching him after the Sargon debate, and he was, like, at 50,000 subscribers. Which is big compared to me, but very small compared to where he is now. Um, and he got the bright idea when J.K. Rowling was starting to, you know, really take off with the, the overt transphobia on Twitter and whatnot. He decided to, uh, to make a tactically misogynistic tweet at her. A tweet at her, I should say. The reaction was not positive. A whole lot of people got really uppity about him making essentially an off-color joke. Uh, women shut up and listen challenge. I think it was something like that. Which is gross. But he had two reasonable choices before him. Remember, this is a guy who has sold himself as someone who encourages toxic behavior by leftist online because our goal is to win. Which I can get behind on some level. Our goal is to win. Therefore, the stakes are high enough. If winning is at stake, you know, some things should be allowed on the table, including sometimes being rude. But bigger people, the famous friends that would come to turn out are actually his real motivation for all this. He wants to have famous friends and show off his expensive clothes. Uh, they took issue with this. They, they used it as, a, as an opportunity to sort of stand on principle. Excuse me, Vosh, even with J.K. Rowling, this is unacceptable. Which it was, but he had two decisions before him. He could apologize. That's one. It's not necessarily the most desirable decision in his position, but it, that's one. It's a valid one. He can retain his friendships. He can he can limit himself in terms of what he can do as a public figure. And uh, and he can move on and, and keep fighting the good fight or whatever he's doing. Or he can quote unquote giga chat it and say, no, no, enough of this shit. In fact, what are you guys doing standing between me and JK Rowling and giving JK Rowling uh, assistance essentially in redirecting negative attention towards me. This person is the danger. I am I am like some schlub who happens to be moderately successful who made an off-color joke. You guys, a lot of you are actually even much more famous. You guys are using this as an opportunity to virtue signal in the opposite direction. Didn't do that. What he did was he cut off his friends and he did what he called a fortress arc. I.e., because he was a coward and he couldn't take the heat, he aborted not just the growth of his channel, but the growth of all the people who had integrated with his community. <clears throat> and so that whole area just stagnated for years. Years. Virtue signal cider said, yeah, exactly. Years. Um, until there was no identity there anymore. Uh, the only people who were still actively involved in that space of that particular kind of progressivism were either personal friends of Vosh uh, or were failures. Just, just, just failures. Something happens. You have a general exodus of people from Vosh's orbit. We're getting, we're going somewhere with this. Just bear with me. Uh, a bunch of them sort of liberalize their politics, tone it all down. Start to act like, uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Um, it's going too far, guys. Let's let's try to wind things down a little bit. And they 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 went in sort of a, a sort of centrist liberal direction. Other ones who were bigger just kind of drifted off in their own directions. Your Shark Zero is your Merrick's, etc. Merrick's not that big, but Merrick is doing well for herself elsewhere. Um, and uh, long story short, you see a slow trickle of people deciding that, uh, yeah, friendship with these people, this whole sphere, there's two things going on. 
First of all, Vosh, Vosh is selfishly at, at the center of this economy, hogging a massive amount of viewers. Um, Vosh has selfishly decided to play video games and do fashion and just, just not grow and not help other people in his orbit grow either. So he's just occupying media space and not doing anything to give back while taking in money and attention under the presumption that this is some kind of leftist project. This is, this is sort of the evangelical side of, of what he's doing. There's no money in this. There's no future in this. There's no political efficacy in this. So a bunch of people decided one by one, slowly, uh, we're not super on board with this anymore. Uh, we're, we're actually kind of eh, eh. And there were some who were very late to this party and Xander Hall is one very late. So very recently, Xander Hall decided, uh, according to him, after months of silence from Vosh, so he's not talking to Vosh, Vosh isn't talking to him more like, this is important to him, Xander Hall, it's very important to Xander Hall, like Vosh, Vosh, who uh, Xander Hall takes all of his takes from, basically point for point in most cases. Um, after a lengthy period of time in which he hasn't been talked to, he, uh, he starts implying that Vosh might be a Trumpist or a rightist or whatever. That he's kind of opportunistic in, 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 in what political positions he chooses or, or what things he says. Is he trying to kind of, uh, is he trying to reach a little bit for, for some, for some love from the people, uh, sort of in the center right kind of thing where they're like, uh, oh, Biden's too old. Eh. And he kind of actually, yeah, maybe, maybe the right critics are kind of right. That kind of thing. But we've jumped too far ahead, haven't we? We really did. Because there was something else that happened in between in between that period. And that's uh, Keffels. After the uh, Fortress Arc started, Vosh started really plugging Keffels. She would come on stream, she'd be promoted, she'd be integrating with all of the all of the remaining people sort of in that in that circle. And uh, she would under under the under the guise of uh, being a advocate for the trans community, uh, she would weaponize that trans community to bully other people to do what she wanted. My first interaction with Keffels was commenting on a case where she was using the fact that she was reading an article about a young trans woman who was murdered. I don't know if it was a young trans woman, actually. It's, it's, it's a bit, the, the history is a bit gray. It's been a while. And I don't have Twitter anymore, so I can't look this up. But uh, she was using the fact that she was reading an article about a murdered trans woman uh, to berate someone, to berate someone, rather, uh, who was criticizing her for something unrelated. Because they had violated the sanctity of this time. Right? Um, she would use the fact that she had raised tremendous amounts of money uh, to help, like for the Trevor Project, I think, or whatever. She would She would use that as a political bludgeon and to puff herself up and would just send large numbers of people uh, to just harass people, essentially, who she didn't like, who she disagreed with. Sometimes they were deserving targets. A lot of times they weren't. A lot of times they were people who were just like, hey, you're acting kind of toxic. You're acting kind of toxic to people on your own side, or at least who you say is on your own side. Swatting incident happens. She uses it to raise $100,000. People, yours truly included, are like, okay, what are you doing with this? That's a lot of money. I, I, I've never heard of someone needing $100,000 to move. Oh, you're suing the police? No, you're not suing the police. Oh, you are suing the police. Oh, you're suing Joshua Moon. No, you're not. We know how that turned out. Here's, here's a question. When we have obvious grifters in our midst, when we have obvious grifters... The hell boots. When we have obvi obvious grifters in our do you, do you think that people were jumping to defend grifters like Keffels because they were stupid enough to believe her or because they wanted to? It's because they wanted to. It's because fundamentally the ecosystem here, which postures as as being politically interested, as being like politically motivated, we're, we're concerned about real issues. Trans people under attack. There's a there's a fascist tyrant potentially on his way to the White House, etc. So this is what we're really concerned about. But what it really is is a vibe. 
it's a vibe. People aren't defending Kefels or jumping into those communities and, and dropping hours of their lives, arguing with people on their behalf, sitting in chat, just waiting like, yes, yes, acknowledge me for hours. They aren't doing that because they're stupid. They're doing that because they like it. They want this. They don't want political results. They don't want to win. They don't want a better world. They want that. They want the, 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 the secondhand buzz of public recognition without any of the risk or any of the work. And without fail, every single time, with every single person, I, I've seen every single one collapse just as, as the weight of, of their own corruption just sort of uh, overcomes them. They all, they all come back and apologize. Every single time. Without fail. Uh, I remember, I remember Doe jumping down my throat on Twitter over Keffels years ago. We're good, I forgive you. But jumping down my throat. Doe's generally a very reasonable person, one of the more reasonable people here. If Doe's susceptible to this, most of you are. I, I remember... I remember these people jumping in defense of... No, all of them. Y you get the idea.